So as this confident young fighter makes his walk to the octagon, you can be sure his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because once I get him down, I know I can keep him there, potentially for the duration of the round, if not the fight. This guy's top game is scary good, and it's not just about getting you down, it's about using his weight to keep you there. Great hips as well. This guy has incredible takedown defense. Out of all the fighters in the UFC, he's amongst the most difficult to get to the mat. So we get another look tonight at the perennial contender, Colby Covington, and so much is made of the antics outside the octagon and on social media that we lose sight of just how dominant a welterweight fighter this is. Look what he did against Damian Maya. Look what he has done against matchups that stylistically maybe don't favor him. Colby Covington is one of the most dominant welterweights in the world, and tonight represents another opportunity for him to prove as much. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. If this fight comes to a striking exchange, he will have a distinct advantage. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters 29 years of age with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 14 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now can you see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 14 wins, one loss. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, USA, Kobe Chaos, coming time! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. All right, the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Just misses with the straight left Big hand. punches. The right hand just misses. Guillotine here. He's got the leg over the back. Oh, he pulls it to the mount. Very nicely done. His guillotine is nasty. Oh, and there it is. is. Great job. Didn't waste any time. Took this fight to the ground and got the early submission. Yeah, Joe, that was quick, but can't say that we're all that surprised with this result here tonight. He said he didn't want to waste a lot of time. He wanted to be efficient, knew he wanted to get this fight to the ground and let his submission skills take over. Outstanding effort, even better technique here tonight. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap.
So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. All right, let's go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 10 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare! So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I gotta mute those naysayers.